Hi, my name is Ruben Wabea. I'm a student at Florida International University. Uh, I'm majoring in electrical engineering and uh, I'm doing my concentration in networking and telecommunications. So today we will um, see some aspects of uh, networking uh, vulnerabilities uh, such as um, packet sniffing and our packet analyzers. So this presentation is for edu educational purposes only. It's not uh, something to to use uh, to attack other system or, or to collect information from other people. It's for educational uh, use. Uh, it's for educational use personally. And you cannot, I mean, all the information that you, everything that you will do behind this uh, video, I'm not responsible for it. So, that being said, um, I am doing this video for my final presentation in um, Ethical IQ, uh, which is given by uh, Dr. Alexander Pang. Uh, the name of the class is uh, Ethical IQ and Countermeasure, and uh, the the code is um, EEL four seven eight nine. So what are we gonna do today? We're gonna be looking at a network. Excuse me about that. We're gonna be looking at a network, um, at a typical network from a house or, or a small business where we have a, a routers and a couple of computers connected to the, the network. And those computers can be connected to a cable or to the Wi-Fi and stuff. The, the, the presentation is going to focus on this application or software called Wireshark, uh, which is an open source uh, code and it's written in uh, in C++ and C. It's used to analyze all the packets that has been sent or all the traffic that has been working in in, uh, in a network. So we have a network with a router. All the information are been sent to the router from the computers, and then from the router is been sent to the internet. So we're going to be looking at the, the information, the, 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 the traffic between the router and the, the computers and see what, which kind of information there is and what, we, what, what can, can we get from there. And we will be able to do that using Wireshark. So I, I already have a Wireshark installed on my computer, so I'll, I'll show you how it works. Okay, so... I'll just click on it, it will take some time to open. And then, uh, before using Wireshark, you're gonna be you, you're gonna need to go to you do, to go to the command line and figure out what your your IP address and the IP address of your router. So, uh, IP config will be the command that I will use on my on my uh, command prompt. And uh, uh, I can see that the, the, the IP address of this particular computer is 10.0.1.0.4 is a private IP address and uh, the subnet mask. And uh, as you can see the getaway is a 10.0.1.0.1. It's it's the IP address of the server, and uh, so since we know this, and we also know the IP address that um, we will be using to connect to the internet, and uh, it's it's this one, one nine eight the uh, one nine two one six eight that uh, five six that one. So it should be the IP address that we communicate to to the public network. So 
with I mean the 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 most important the most important information are these two the the personal IP address and the IP address of the server. So I go back to Wireshark and then I gonna uh, kind of put put the parameters on my filters. I will put uh, I, I, I'm gonna put one minute, you know, it, 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 it can take less time, but I'm just gonna put one minute and to, to see how many packets we, we can collect in one minute. So from there, when I say start, so from here you can see all the packets that has been sent all the traffic that is going on on my network and then we can see uh, the source and uh, the destination is my IP address and um, we can we can see for example this one uh it's it's something that's it, it's a the package that has been sent from my router to my uh, to my computer and then so i can open the header and see what what more i can get from it so that's that's basically it you know you 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 can see the the source the destination and uh the port who has been sent um the the the, the source port and then the destination port and uh, the length so we're gonna use this tool to um to attack uh, to uh, to I mean not to attack to capture data that has been sent from my computer through uh, to the to the network going to a specific website. So I will come to the browser and then I will go to this website. It's, it's, it 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 made for testing purposes only. So from there, the username. I will use this Congo and then um, the password I will put Kinshasa. So I'm not gonna press, I'm not gonna post it or log in yet. I'm just gonna wait a little bit before because I, I wanna do another, another capture. I wanna start another capture. Okay, so we start capturing. And then I post. This has been sent, so I stop. So from here we should be able to see um, that I, I I've posted something on, on on the network, like a packet that has been sent from my computer to uh, the website that uh, that I've been working on. Uh, Let's see, it should say um, IP address post something. So here's the Is the packet that that I was looking for? Is the source is my my computer, and the and the destination is this IP address, and uh, we we can see the protocol. It's um, HTTP, and uh, it's a post. We're gonna click on it. From there, we will open the the packets and see what is inside. We have the header. Um, from the error, we can look at uh, when we we open when we open uh, the hypertext, 
we can see the name of the the, the website and um, the agent on the website which type of uh, web which type of operating system they use and uh, what is the type of browser that I use here and if I go to line base here is the password and the username in plain text you know it's simple as that so from this this is this is a simple way simplest way to this is a um, simple way to to attack a system to take information from uh, from a user and, uh, and and get the password and web and and, and uh, username. Usually, even me, sometimes I have hard time changing password or changing username. I keep on using the same username for different accounts and the same password. Uh, if, for example, I was using my my uh, Facebook account, for example, which is each HTTPS is more secure than than the website that we were in, but still. If I was doing, I was going to uh, my Facebook. I was using my email address and then the same password, and use the same password to open a bank account or to open my email address. The the the, the person who's hacking me can easily get my password and duplicate it, that same password to open uh, other other accounts or other account that I had. So, um, you should be really be careful. You should uh, be careful on which computer you use because you can be just asking somebody to use the computer to do some stuff or to log into your bank account and they can just have the whale shark open and they collect all the data when you're doing that. This can be running on the background and you don't know uh, which information they can collect. And uh, also, don't let anybody just come and use your Wi-Fi or uh, use your Wi-Fi because they can see all the traffic that, that's going on in your, on your Wi-Fi and collect information from there and know more about you and uh, which type of website you go through and uh, get the password and stuff like that and you can be high easily. In order to do that, you should secure your, your, your Wi-Fi. Change the the password don't keep the password that is been given from 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 the from the, the password that 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 you receive from uh, comcast or or from your your, your wi-fi provider you should just change it make uh find find your own password and also don't try to make your your wi-fi being uh, how can I say it to be not too too bright? If, for example, your password go up to the street, somebody can just be running or, or walking down the street and, and connect to your network. So you you don't need to be connected like that. And um, I think we we kind of saw what 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 was going on here. And uh, the most important things is to be secure. And I repeat again. Uh, this video is for educational purposes only. It's not something that you should take to hike or to do other malicious things with it. Uh, if you do so, I'm not responsible for, for anything. Thank you for your attention and for your time. And uh, God bless you.